Okay, here at the network layer, um, we get our uh, first example of a specific uh, network or telecommunications attack. And that's a Smurf attack. Now, you're probably not going to see a Smurf attack these days. Um, they have uh, taken certain steps to ensure that Smurf attacks don't succeed as well as they used to. Um, and, uh, but it, it, uh, okay, first of all, why is it a Smurf attack? Well, it's not because anybody's blue or anything like that, but because Smurfs attacking you means you get attacked by little tiny things that probably individually you can just flick off. Um, but all together, um, well, a Smurf attack is, in a sense, uh, the first example of a distributed denial of service attack and we'll, uh, we'll get into that you'll see it as we start to, to go through it um, and uh, the other reason we're going to talk about smart attacks is this is my one of my favorite lessons in all of the CISSP uh, training and uh, that is because Generally speaking, this is, takes place about halfway through Thursday, and you guys have been listening to me, uh, if it's not in little 10-minute segments, uh, maundering on for three and a half days, and finally you get to do some kind of activity. So, we've got um, the... Uh, this relies on ping. Now, ping is very simple. We're just seeing if a machine is awake, see if it's going to respond when we uh, send a request to it. And so uh, we have uh, a packet and you send it and it says, you know, addressee, I am point of origin, uh, are you awake, basically. You know, that's, that's what the protocol works like. Now, the, um, again, this, this works a lot better uh, in a classroom, um, so you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit here, but we're talking about information technology, and so what did we use for information technology before we got computers? We used paper, so everybody has a couple of sheets of paper that represents information. Now, you take these sheets of paper and you packetize them. And how do you packetize them? Well, you just crumple up the individual sheets of paper into a little ball. So we now have a paper ball packet. <clears throat> so, um, uh, oh, and, and again, you know, in the classroom I would be picking individuals of you, but I can't see you and I uh, can't throw things at you. So we'll use uh, Alice and Bob and Eve and Mallory that we haven't used since we stopped talking about crypto um, and they're just lying around being lazy so uh, we're going to use them. So, Alice sends a packet to Bob. Alice's packet essentially says, Bob, this is Alice, are you awake? So, throw, as, as Alice, I throw a little paper packet to somebody I choose to be Bob and Bob responds back with a little paper packet of his or her own and says, uh, yes, Alice, I am awake. So, um, that's how it's supposed to work. But of course, um, you know, as, as with some of the other uh, attacks, we're, you know, talking about malformed uh, Badly created, deliberately uh, miscreated packets, and and messing with the protocol. So, um, so I can lie. Uh, I can say, uh, send a packet to Bob, saying, Bob, this is Eve. Are you awake? And so, of course, when I send the packet to Bob. Bob is going to respond by throwing a packet to Eve and saying, yes, Eve, this is Bob, I am awake. Okay, still not too terrible here. But, 
we then go back to when we were talking about the IP addresses and the fact that there is a universal address. All ones, you know, 255. 255.255.255.255 or however much of the network you have access to. And basically that address is everybody. And so if I send that to every, you know, I, I send out this message to everybody and I say, everybody, are you awake? And they're, of course, going to bombard me with little paper packets. But... Remember, I can lie. So, I send out a packet, and I say, Everybody, this is Eve. Are you awake? And, of course, everybody turns and bombards Eve with their packets, saying, Yes, Eve, we are awake. And Eve, even though this is, you know, this is only a ping. This does not take an awful lot of uh, processing to deal with a ping packet response, even if you didn't send one in the first place. It may be an annoyance. But when it's, you know, thousands, millions, potentially billions of packets, then yes, that now constitutes a distributed denial of service attack. And... Eve, you know, buckles under the load. So, um, that is uh, basically the, the Smurf attack. Now, uh, there's Smurf and Fraggle. They both use ping packets. Uh, Smurf uses uh, the UDP ping packet. Um, Fraggle uses the ICMP uh, ping packet. Um, but, you know, it, it works in exactly the same way. So, uh, you know, this is, again... Uh, what we're seeing in, in most of these types of attacks is taking a protocol, um, deliberately doing something untoward that nobody ever thought of when they created the protocol, and uh, using that to work some mischief on somebody else. And so the, the Smurf attack is our first example of this.